they're the high-flying monster trucks of the United States Top Rod Association. And today, they're in Louisville, Kentucky. Not for straight line racing, not for a turning course, but today, it's figure eight racing on Monster Truck Challenge. It's coming your way next, here on ESPN, the Total Sports Network. Kentucky. They like things that are fast here, normally thoroughbred, but tonight they're going to love the best monster trucks in the entire world. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ken Brew. This is the Louisville Motor Speedway, and tonight, figure eight, monster truck racing. Stay tuned. Monster Truck Challenge continues on ESPN in just a moment. Okay, we're down here in the scoring area of the press box. This is where they keep track of everything that happens out on the track. Now, attrition and broken parts and bad qualifying has taken its toll on the field tonight, but there's still a very, very big representation here from the best monster trucks in America. Here's how they lined up in round one. First, it'll be Tropical Thunder against Barely Tame. Then Gravedigger with Dennis Anderson in the saddle against Kodiak. That's that Milwaukee truck. Carolina Crusher and Gary Porter against the Master of Disaster. Predator with Alan Pezzo in the saddle against Rambo. Then Excalibur against Equalizer. And finally, Auto Value will make a run tonight as well. All right, we're all set for round one action. Let's go trackside. Here's Joe Lowe. Can a figure eight track in Louisville, Kentucky, and look, this first matchup hit Tropical Thunder. Wayne Smozanek out of Jupiter, Florida. There's a good shot of Wayne going up against the guy from way up north. Doug Spanier and Barely Tame. Now we told you Smozanek from Florida, Doug Spanier's from Minnesota. So you got a north and south confrontation between Barely Tame and Tropical Thunder. And there they go. Barely Tame with the lead. Now remember, this is a lot of turning and a figure eight towards the end. They come around. Barely Tame seems to have it over Smozanek. He's in the outside lane. They come over to hit the cars. Whoa! And Smozanek seems to lose power. Meanwhile, Doug Spaniard's pulling way out front and barely tame. Now, you notice on the figure eight court, they sort of change things with Tropical Thunder against the wall now. Barely tame on the inside track and a clean sweep for Doug Spaniard and barely tame. Our next matchup ready to go between the Kodiak and the Grave Digger. Now, the Gravedigger, piloted by Dennis Anderson, he's back after a lengthy time off, and he's at a Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, ready to go with the digger. Kodiak being piloted today by Mark Bendler. Mark coming with us for the first time on Monster Truck Challenge out of New Berlin, Wisconsin. So it's Bendler and Kodiak, Anderson and Gravedigger. The red headlights on Digger, and Digger gets the hole shot. But hole shots count in straight line racing. This is a figure eight course. They come around the first turn. They'll be approaching that first set of cars. Look for a good jump. The digger has the lead. Whoa! He clears the entire set of cars. Which track we gonna take? Man, we're having a little trouble staying on course. Keeping control of the truck. And the digger, a slight lead as they come around and head to the cars one more time. Whoa! What a finish! Kodiak comes apart, but look! Oh! Dennis Anderson runs out of track space! Dennis Anderson, the Grave Digger, your winner. I hope he can come back with us. We'll check with him later on. Meanwhile, Carolina Crusher is coming up to the line. Gary Porter out of Waynesboro, North Carolina. Gary's been doing extremely well on Monster Truck Challenge. Going up again, David Cook and Master of Disaster. David making his first visit to Monster Truck Challenge out of Albany, Minnesota. They're staged in Louisville. Carolina Crusher, Master of Disaster, and there they go. Carolina Crusher out to an early lead, but they had that first turn to maneuver. Carolina Crusher acts as though he's been here before. He knows what he's doing. Mr. Cook having his share of trouble, but he's right behind them. The Carolina Crusher up and over the first set of cars. Here comes David Cook. on that first set of cars. Meanwhile, the Carolina Crusher going around. Gary Porter 
that track is all his. David Cook gets faster disaster going again, but it is all Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher taking it easy. He's going after on the earlier races. He says, hey, if I don't have any competition, I am not going to risk hurting my equipment on this run. The win goes to Carolina Crusher. Our next matchup between the Predator and Rambo. The Predator being driven by Alan Peso. Alan out of Millington, Michigan. Going up against him is Bill Weaver. Big Bill Weaver. Wild Bill, as they call him. Hails from Hastings, New York. So it's Rambo and Predator in Louisville on this figure eight course on Monster Truck Challenge. And there they go. The Predator, a unique looking truck. And he goes tight. Weaver comes out very wide on that first turn in Rambo. Predator with a three-truck slink lead as they come up and approach the cars for the first time. Look at the Predator go. Goes into that turn. He's in the outside lane now. Meanwhile, Rambo way behind. Can the boy from New York catch up to the Predator? It's all Predator in this race. Alan Pezzo. The Michigan boy picked up a win in Louisville, Kentucky on this tough Monster Truck Challenge course. Here's a matchup. Chuck Hawkins and the Excalibur up against David Morris and the Equalizer, Smiling Dave. And you can see right there what we call the boy from Springfield, Tennessee, Smiling Dave. Chuck Hawkins and Excalibur. Chuck Hales from Toledo, Ohio. His first time with us on Monster Truck Challenge. A lot of the new boys with us for the show. Excalibur and Equalizer. He's up among some of the tough ones in the country. And this young man in Excalibur can drive. He's not giving David Morris any faith. Oh, look out. You got to keep it on the track. You got to keep control of your vehicle there, Chuck. David Morris. Whoa. The Equalizer. He backs off. Neck and neck. In fact, Excalibur has the lead. What happened to David Moore? He loses power. And in an upset, young Chuck Hawkins and Excalibur gets the win over Equalizer in Louisville. But it ain't over yet. Here comes Scott Stevens in the Auto Value King Crunch. Scott out of Spring, Texas, driving that auto value truck. He is a veteran of Monster Truck Challenge, and we love having him with us. Now, you remember we told you earlier on that this was a tough course. Scott Stevens gets a bye run. He gets to try this course out all by himself. Not only that, but, you know, he's had an opportunity to see the other guys run this course. So he's just out for a joy ride here. He's going to get the feel of the course. But, you know, Scott Stevens is a competitor. He's going to see what this truck will do. A fairly new truck. He's been tweaking it, and I think he's got this thing dialed into the figure eight court. He comes up and around. The new paint job looking good. He's picked up a great spot through there in the auto value. And the King Crunch gets a by run. He'll advance to our next round on Monster Truck Challenge. Whew, I need a break. This first round was exciting, Ken. What a first round of racing action. But two very important questions as we head to round two. Is Dennis Anderson okay, and can they find the parts to fix Kodiak? The answers to those questions are coming up next when Monster Truck Challenge continues here on ESPN in just a moment. Ken Brew, and you're watching Monster Truck Challenge. Hey, we're here with the fans. What's your name? Where are you from? Kurt Carter, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, by God, Kentucky, huh? You bet. And we got the whole family here today, don't we? All of them. We love it. Mom and, and the kids. How old are the kids? Uh, four and six. Who's your favorite monster truck? The Excalibur? <laughs> you can't beat it. I like them all. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, listen, here's the light up now for round two. Rambo is back against the Carolina Crusher, then barely tame against Equalizer. Tropical Thunder goes up against Predator, and Auto Value is against Excalibur as we move here into round two. You guys ready to go racing? Were you all done? All done. Stay fans. Absolutely. Let's go trackside, and here's Joe Lowe. Again, due to that Grave Digger Kodiak fiasco, neither one will be able to come back. 
So as the fastest loser, Rambo is going to run against Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. Bill Weaver and Rambo, Gary Porter and the Crusher, and Rambo off to an early lead. The Crusher sort of catches him on the inside track. Looks to be deceiving when you have this many turns in monster truck racing. They're approaching the cars for the first time. Crusher in the lead. And he dances over the cars. Here comes Rambo from behind. Here's where they do the little switch back. One goes to the inside, one goes to the outside. Gary Porter comes around. He's not having any trouble at all with this track. As we turn on the power, go over the cars. And the lead and win goes to Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. Our next matchup. As Gary waves to the crowd, they're lining up right now. The equalizer going against Fairly Tame. But the question is, what happened to Dennis Anderson? Jim Clark's with him. Dennis Anderson, the grave digger. First of all, are you all right? Yeah, hey, I'm just fine. I uh, smashed into the wall there, and I uh, clipped my ribs in the back of my seat and just knocked the wind out of me for a few minutes, but I'm all right now. What the heck happened? Well, I tell you, you know, I come around at uh, the last turn there. My truck just felt like it was trying to drift out. And um, I thought old Cody out there was getting ready to blow me away. So once I got the truck straightened out, I just mashed that big motor. And it shot me over the cars and uh, kind of surprised me. I didn't think I was going to get that much air, but I had to deal with it because it was too late to back out. Once I hit the ground, I had to tap the throttle a couple times to make sure I was going to be in control. And it was just going so fast on that slick asphalt, I had to lock it up and slide it sideways and take to the wall. Good to see that Dennis is okay. Leads us to our matchup between the Equalizer and Barely Tame. Doug Spanier and Barely Tame. David Morris and the Equalizer. Both blue trucks. One a Chevy, one a Ford. And right now, they're neck and neck going into turn number one. Barely Tame going wide, but look at this. David Morris cannot make it around the first turn. He loses power. This happened to him earlier. He had a chance to come back as the third fastest loser because of this treacherous track causing a lot of damage to equipment. But Barely Tame walks off with it. David Morris can do nothing but sit there and watch the Ford. But now look at this. The Ford loses power. Doug Spanier has to work to get it going again. I told you this was a tough course. As he jumps over the cars, pops a wheelie for the crowd. And the win, Doug Spanier and Barely Tame. Here comes Tropical Thunder, Wayne Smolzanek going against the Predator and Alan Pezzo. That's a good looking truck in the Predator. Wayne Smolzanek was the 1990 Rookie of the Year. Side by side, they come off the line. Tropical Thunder going wide. What kind of a turn was that for the Predator? Whatever it was, it gave him about Ford truck lanes lead over Tropical Thunder. He approaches over the cars. He goes wide. He pulls it around. Does this guy have control of this truck or what? Wayne Smolzanek all over the infield. He's having a handling problem. Predator losing some power. He gets it turned back on. Tropical Thunder trying to go to the inside. And the wind goes to Predator. Alan Pezzo and Predator with an impressive win in that Chevy truck here in Louisville. Well, it's been easy so far for Scott Stevens and the King Crunch. He had a bye run, but this time he's going again. Chuck Hawkins and the Excalibur. He had that upset victory over the Equalizer in round number one. And here they go. Scott Stevens has had an opportunity to watch everybody run. He took the course by himself on a by run in round number one. And he's falling behind to the Predator right now in his first real competition in Louisville. Excalibur going a little wild. He straightens it out. This guy gets great control. Scott Stevens, though, picks up a lot of yardage as Excalibur bobbles over the cars. It's going to be flat out side by side as we come down to the finish. And the win goes to Excalibur. The young man, Chuck Hawkins, comes in here to Louisville and goes boom, boom, and knocks out two of the big boys. And the Auto Value King Crunch blows a tire off the last set of cars. And that ends round two. How about that second round? How about this truck, the Excalibur? You know that this truck turned in the fastest time of the night so far, but uh, 
It's leaving on the back end of a hook. Will the Excalibur be able to come back for the round of four? Stay tuned. Monster Truck Challenge continues on ESPN in just a moment. Continues, and so does the work here in the pits, feverishly, just trying to get four trucks to move on to the round of four. Already the fastest truck tonight is out. Excalibur could not answer the bell for the semifinals. So as we roll them out now to begin this final four, take a look at who's left. Barely Tame will replace Equalizer in this round of four. Equalizer have replaced Gravedigger, but now it's Barely Tame against the Carolina Crusher. And in the second race, it'll be Rambo replacing Excalibur against the Predator. So as the King Crunch works for another day, the business at hand tonight is ready to go down on the track. Here's the voice of Monster Truck Challenge. Here's Joe Lowe. A barely tame Carolina Crusher matchup. One goes to the finals. We're with Gary Porter of the Crusher who's having trouble of his own this weekend. You know, I'm having to run in two-wheel drive this weekend. And I'm just out there you know, more or less just trying to play the survival game right now. When you went back after your first run, did you do anything different to the truck? Yeah, I adjusted the suspension some to try to take some of the bounce out of it. In the first run, you know, when I went over the cars, the truck had a little bounce to it, so I adjusted the shocks and tried to take that out of it. And I'm trying to get it so I can get around the corners a little bit faster also. The Doug Spaniard drive barely came. Doug, have you done anything different to the truck between rounds? We're going to lean the truck a little bit, and uh, I think we'll have the fuel mixture right for that and run it. I mean, the track is smooth. The, the finish line, I think the harder you hit it, the smoother you land. So I'm going to run it. So much for talking, let's get racing. Barely tame, Carolina Crusher. Off the line, barely tame gets him. Now remember, Gary Porter already told you he was running in two-wheel drive. And whoa, look out, Gary. Not much control when you only have two-wheel drive in these tight turns. And barely tame turns it on. We're only halfway through this race. Whoa! That is getting tough on that landing over turn number one. Around. Our next matchup, Rambo and Predator. We're with Alan Pazo, a Predator right now. Alan, what's going on in your pit? We got her dialed in now, and I think we're going to be better uh, next round yet. Uh, we got a lot more uh, left in her. What exactly did you do to the truck? Uh, we went back and uh, made a few suspension adjustments uh, for the tilt on the bank and the course, and uh, re-geared it. But what's going on with Rambo right now? Jim Clark is with Bill Weaver. Did you do anything different on this run that, uh, from your previous run? No, I really didn't have much time. Uh, I think we might do a couple gear changes tonight. Not much on words, Bill Weaver, but he does his talking on the track, and he's gotten here in the semifinal. One going to the finals. Is it going to be the Predator, or is it going to be Rambo? Rambo catching up. The Predator on the inside track. Allen first to hit the cars in Predator. Rambo does a lot of bounce and Predator screws out first. He gains a little bit of yardage there, but Rambo's catching up. Predator turns it on. They're coming down. This is the home stretch. Side by side. Rambo and Predator. Who's it going to be? The win goes to Predator. And Alan Pazo walks into the finals in Louisville. He'll go up against Fairly Tame. So after a full night of racing, here is one of the two trucks left standing, barely tame. Here's a truck that knocked off Tropical Thunder and the Equalizer and the Carolina Crusher. And now, barely tame, goes up against the Predator in the finals. It's a great matchup, a Ford against a Chevy, and we'll have it for you in just a second when Monster Truck Challenge continues right here on ESPN. Monster Truck Challenge continues, and here's what it's boiled down to. A Ford against a Chevy. Barely tamed against Predator. On this racetrack, that's what the finals are tonight, and the winner takes all here in Louisville. 
for the call of this race, for the climax of a great evening of racing. Let's go trackside to the voice of Monster Truck Challenge, and you know that's Joe Lowe. Ken, both these guys have been around the track several times now. Alan Peso with Predator standing by with our own Jim Clark. Let's see what's going on in his camp. What special strategy are you going to use in this race? Well, like I say, we have to be uh, real good in the corners, run a good smooth race, keep it on the ground. But we can make good time. If we get in the air, we're going to lose time. So we need to keep it on the ground and uh, hope for the best. That's Alan Pazo out of Millington, Michigan, driving the Predators in our final tonight against Doug Spanier and Barely Tame. Jim Clark down with Doug right now. What are you going to do uh, differently in this final? Nothing. The truck's working excellent. I mean, a little bit of fuel adjustment. We got that down. The truck seems to be working great. So we're just stopping it off with fuel and check it over, and we'll be back out here. Doug Spanier, a veteran driver, has great control over his truck. Matter of fact, one of the only trucks out here that has not suffered any damage. Predator, barely tame. Make your pick, because we're ready to go. Predator off to an early lead, but he's on the inside lane. Now, Allen has had some handling problems tonight. Doug Spanier has been running flawlessly, and look at this. The Predator does. He spins around. He spins out. Barely tame. Barely tame takes the big board over the guard. Predator's able to smooth out, turn it around. He does an entire circle on the track, but he's got to play a lot. Up. Barely came, doesn't take time to look back, and Doug Spanier goes over the cars and into the winner's circle in Louisville. Smoke coming from the engine, but Doug Spanier is number one. You know, the Ford truck is built in Louisville, and the crowd loves to see the Ford win. Now, Predator is a Chevy, and we're seeing a Chevy show here. A donut. Right in the middle of the race, he decides to cut a donut on the infield. And Barely Tame takes the advantage right there. He spins on and up and over and into the winner's circle. And Predators left behind. Jim Clark standing by with Doug. Doug Spanier and Barely Tame. Boy, what a wild night this has been, but you came out on top. I think this was my night because uh, last year I was kind of unfortunate with hitting the wall. Like I said earlier, I think the truck had vengeance for this track. <laughs> it was running by itself, I think. You know, you were watching the Predator all night, and uh, anything you did differently in this race? I stayed on it all the way because I, I ran all the way to the end. I said, why should I quit now? So I told myself, that's what we all said down in the pit before I come out. You're in the finals. Might as well take it. You'll come this far. Again, that's going to do it from Louisville, Kentucky, home of fast horses and wild monster truck racing. Thank you, Joe. Doug Spanier behind the wheel of this truck has left them all cheering in Louisville. That's monster truck.